I think that's part of what's really uncomfortable for being a fellow often, is you're by yourself in yeah. rural Bihar. There's really no exit um, until the end of the year. And then you realize that you actually do have an exit, but the people that you're leaving don't. And so I think mm. one of the themes that was really c connected to our fellows from your Aspen speech was privilege, that you weren't really talking just to the 1%. You were talking to, I mean, you have this great paragraph. If you live near Whole Foods, if you don't know someone who's a meth head, if there's no one in your family who's in the military, you may be part of the problem. How, how, did, how, did that, how did people respond to that? And what do you take away from that? What's the message? You're part of the problem. You're doing the best that you can. It may not feel like enough. I think, I think the idea is not that everybody needs to be perfect or can be perfect. I think the idea is simply to, and I was talking very much about myself. I mean, all the, in that thing, like all the six things, they all applied to me, which is how I knew about them. Um, <laughs> and you know, I was thinking about how do you, I guess, I guess to step back, um, you said something about this earlier. I think the paradox that's interesting to me is, you know, I, I don't think this is by any means the most predatory elite we've ever had in history. I, I don't think it's, but it's pretty predatory. I don't think it's the most socially concerned elite we've had in history, but it's, but it's pretty off the charts socially concerned. But I do think this is, no, no elite more socially concerned has ever been so predatory at the same time. And no elite so predatory has ever been so socially concerned. 